Gouache has always been a bit of a mystery to me. When I paint with it, and honestly, I've been painting with it since I was a kid, but I still find myself thinking, hmm, this feels a lot like watered down acrylic. I think too, couldn't I simply use watercolor straight from the tube, heavier, and get a similar effect? Good questions. Before we dive into my curious comparison experiment of gouache versus watercolor, let's look at a bit of Christie style science. Both gouache and watercolor are water-based, but watercolor is more translucent. Gouache creates a super flat finish of color. Traditionally, gouache was used by graphic artists as its flat finish is super easy to photograph. But you might be surprised to know that gouache was widely used by some Renaissance artists who were after bold, faster drying dramatic washes of velvety color. Okay, okay, back to the science. Gouache and watercolor are quite similar, even in the way that they're made, but it's the size of the pigment particles suspended in gum arabic that make the difference. Gouache particles are larger and basically leave less space for light to bounce around, lending its super opaque finish. Let's hop into comments right now, because I know that many of you have tried gouache and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you love it? Could you leave it? Let's get the conversation going. So for today's experiment, I've got Windsor & Newton Professional Gouache, and then I've got similar colors in Windsor & Newton Watercolor. I'm gonna paint a very similar scene, a simple flower with a blue background, and I'm going to attempt to use the watercolor heavy-handed in a way that is similar to how I would use gouache straight from the tube. So I can really get an apples to apples comparison. Because remember, when I started this video, I am still wondering, can I really push the use of watercolor to be very similar to gouache in terms of that heavy layer of color? Can I make that happen with watercolor straight out of the tube? We'll see. While I'm painting, let me give you a few gouache and watercolor facts. Number one, both mediums re-wet easily, which means you can let them dry completely, spray them down, and get painting with them once again. Some manufacturers add some chalky additives to gouache to intensify its opaque finish, and I find that that can make a cured pile or squirt of gouache kind of brittle, so just something to keep an eye out for. It really doesn't change how you use the paint or the quality of the paint. It just can be a little annoying at times. Number two, gouache definitely dries quicker than watercolor, so that can take some getting used to. Number three, I'm happy to report that absolutely no additional supplies are needed if you wanna go from watercolor to gouache. All of your watercolor finery will work perfectly. Number four, you can mix gouache and watercolor and definitely get some curious combinations. Number five, gouache sits on the paper surface more than watercolor. Watercolor immediately kind of absorbs into the paper surface. So lifting gouache is a lot more effective than lifting watercolor. I gotta be honest, friends. I know I have my questions about gouache, but I think it's pretty clear that there is a massively different look between watercolor and gouache. Even when I tried to use watercolor super heavy handed straight from the tube, you can see the difference beyond a shadow of a doubt. And yeah, gouache is super heavy and it has that kind of chalky finish, but there's so much wow and fun when you paint with this type of consistency. And it definitely feels different than acrylic. Acrylic has a kind of plasticky feel underhand when you're using it and applying it to the paper. And even when it's dry, it feels like it has a sheen to it, like it's something you could peel right off the paper or canvas. And I don't get that feeling with gouache. And the fun thing about gouache is you don't have to apply it like you would acrylic. It doesn't have to be applied thick. It can be watered down to see some really cool effects where you go from a thick layer of gouache watered down to a thin. Now, as I wrap up my experiment, here are a few reasons why you might really want to try gouache. Number one, if you're a light-handed watercolor artist and want to shake yourself out of a slump, gouache might be a good next step. Number two, you tend to use watercolor heavily anyway, and you'd like to try a medium that's actually designed to be applied in a thick way. Number three, you prefer to paint dark 
to light or would like more freedom to do so, then gouache is definitely the medium for you. And number four, you're frustrated sometimes with the more unforgiving nature of watercolor. Then you definitely want to give gouache a look. Now, maybe you don't have a new art supply in the budget, so you're going to want to watch this video next where I teach you how to get similar effects to gouache by using one simple extra art supply. Happy painting, friends!